We've got everything we need on Spender. I've been waiting for this moment for nearly a year. Ready? Let's go confront Spender. Be nice to bring his head back to Morda on a pike. You know, as a gift. He's Nexus personnel. Addison and Kandros will decide what to do with him. Spoil sport. I didn't have a choice. Aron said they'd kill me. You helped the mutineers, Spender. That was a choice right there. All you had to do was ask for help. Instead, you put everyone else at risk to save yourself. Please, incriminate yourself further. Tell us everything they made you do. What do you know, Pathfinder? You weren't there during the mutiny. You're done now, buddy, and with any luck, they'll give you to me. Everything the Pathfinder's saying is true. Here's the proof. A scrambler packed with logs and credit transfers to exiles. This has been going on since the mutiny. He's been altering files, stealing supplies, communicating with them. This is a massive security breach. I can't even begin to fathom the damage he's responsible for. Like your hands are clean, Kandros? We all wanted the Krogan gone. I just made it easier. The Exiles think I work for them, just like you think I work for you. That's what real politics looks like. Right under our noses. God damn it, Spender! The Krogan left. Spender played both sides just to get a promotion. You couldn't have seen that coming. No. No, I was given ample reasons to suspect something. I just chose not to. Tan was on my ass about the Krogan so much, I let myself be blind to Spender. You're getting a chance to fix this now. Let's start with taking our side when my clan tries to negotiate a better deal with Tan. You need us, and frankly, we need you. You're right. I'll back you up. We'll do it right this time. So, what about him? Lock him up. He won't be the last, but he'll make a fine example. You're just gonna throw me in a cell? Could be worse. We could throw you off the station. Think about that for a moment. Thanks, Ryder. You have no idea how glad I am this business is settled. Jal! Jal! <laughs> Wait. Is there bad news? No, <laughs> no. The Pathfinder is interested in where I grew up. Ryder, this is my true mother, Sahuna Amadarao. Nice to meet you. I know Ingaro liked the hugging. Giles told me how much he admires you. Really? He's my favorite. Smart, loyal, kind. A great shot. Writes poetry, souls. <clears throat> Mother. <clears throat> I'm late for a resistance meeting. Stay clear. Your mother's in the resistance? <laughs> Yes. And every child is her favorite. Everyone, this is Ryder. Hi. Look who the car can drag with. Welcome back. This is where I spent most of my days growing up. Me, my sister, Kuana, our cousin, Etta, and brother, Finn. Then, Bavezil, Roru. So wonderful to Ejal, have you back. A human. Jal. You bring in someone special to meet us. Wow. Cozy. We like to live like this. Gonna give your friends some real food? Good to see you. And here's my room. My tiny sanctuary. You must dream of a big place of your own. Sometimes. <laughs> Maybe. Doesn't matter. This will always be my home. Oh, no. Put this here. Schematics? Of... When I was seven, my aunt stole a cat weapon for me. So I took it apart. To learn. And that is... was... a carkin. Pet carkin. <laughs> All fit. He died. So I also... took him apart. 
to... learn? Why not? I never show people these things, but I feel like we're family. It's been good getting to know you. Hey, there's one more thing you might like. Sit there. Been interesting so far. Nice. You made that? Long ago. It's not accurate. More of a dream, really. Just one more thing I want to take apart and figure out. Me too, Jal. Me too. someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Salarian Ark? Yes. Major Salen Vaughan, STG. Retired, of course. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled inconveniences. The Salarian Union's fixers. If you prefer. As I said, these days I stick with retiree. A lot of people came to Andromeda for a fresh start. I'm sure I'll enjoy mine when I find it. Let's be frank, there are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden, but the evidence is thin. I need a pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Who's Adden? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the Ket. As for why, I intend to ask him. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adden's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. If we show Dr. Adden's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adden? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. Uh, remember, Dr. Adam's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. Dr. Adden's workspace, the one the STG agent is investigating. This equipment has been sterilized with a standard radioisotope. There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent with exaltation pods. Or they could be leftovers from Adden's experiments. The agent mentioned a cat handler, too.
Dr. Adden's contact. Let's get a scan. Ryder, your pilot said you were helping Major Salen Vaughn with an investigation into Dr. Adden. You know Salen? Only by reputation. One of STG's finest back in the day. I tried to help him with Adden, but sort of stalled. Salen gave me two leads, but everything I found was inconclusive. I reached out to ARC leadership, the ones who woke up first, but they keep putting me off. I had an idea, but it might not be completely legal. Can we risk anything shady? We need any findings to be bulletproof. I trust you not to get caught. One of those art officers, Rand Lon, has an apartment here. If he's busy, he won't be around. And a quick scan wouldn't hurt anything. Just see what's there. The Angara have their own problems. Locked. I may be able to hack this, Pathfinder. And we're in. Definitely the apartment Hager mentioned. Freshly vacuumed. Traces of dust still remain. Based on the Scourge radiation count, they came from a remote world. So Rand Lon, or someone in his apartment, went exploring out there. It's been watered recently. A single fiber is caught on a leaf. It shows traces of novetamine. A drug? A neurodepressant reported in some Andromeda wildlife. This plant is not one of them. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lon. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? I'm conducting an investigation about the Solarian Ark. I wanted to check a few things. Ah, I did hear about this. I was too busy to assist. I suppose I'll have to make the time. What do you need? I'd like to ask Dr. Aiden a few questions. Do you know him? Or where he is? Oh yes. Aiden's some sort of biologist. We were among the first to wake up. Difficult times. I haven't seen him since the Ark was rescued. Why Aiden? Salen Varn mentioned... Salen? Huh, I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look, let's forget this happened. For the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Still got that planet identified, Sam? Yes, Pathfinder.
These are the approximate coordinates extrapolated from the Salarian apartment. No sign anyone was here. There's sand traps all over. Let's look under the surface. Something was here, then dragged that way. Scavengers. Likely unfriendly. The trail leads right to them. Salen, what happened to you? Salen? <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. You're sure he's okay? I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any Salen you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Wait, you... He asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adam asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those messages were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. Adam used you and uh, my investigation to cover his tracks. Canny bastard. I examined the department belonging to a Salarian officer, Rand Lon. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our Ark. Adam didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the NAV computer, yet he's obviously guilty. I suspect Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. Right. Except Adam got rid of anything we had on him. And I'll bet Rand Lon has disappeared. Adam. Ah! He forgot the dart he poisoned me with. Still in there, with the ballistics intact. Contact Eden, feign ignorance, and ask for a meeting. I'll be there to arrest him. We'd need somewhere to meet Eden. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word. There you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a Ket collaborator and a murderer. Who's one victim short? Oh, so it's true. Old spies really do live forever. This old spy would punch you if he wasn't <clears throat> carrying evidence in his chest. I tried to give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. Selling your Ark to the Ket makes no logical or tactical sense. To you, because you lack data. Several of us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets. So one day, 
We could destroy them along with their exaltation. You pretended to be cat allies so you could study them, then stab them in the back? Listen, there is an empire of cat beyond Helios. All powerful conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learn could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We had to sacrifice civilians for this, Major. Will you let that be for nothing? Put this traitor where he belongs, Major. We have particular accommodations for collaborators. Arrest me, and you'll never find the others. I've got nothing but time to look. I'm retired, remember? I owe you big for this rider. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I need a militia pickup, the doctor, and the biggest drink on the Nexus. You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. A race? Up this cliff? Less talk, more climb. Let's go, Pathfinder. And no jump jets. No one likes a cheat. This isn't fair. You're taller. You have reach. Staying within your limits is no fun, Ryder. Having fun? See? Not fair. <laughs> wow. It's all going to be like this, huh? No. Better. For 14 months, I wondered if I'd made a mistake coming here and dragging my sister with me. I don't wonder anymore. Boarding the Tempest that day was the best decision I ever made. I'm glad you came aboard too. It wouldn't have been the same without you. Do I even want to know? Some idiot who got talked into a headbutting contest with me by his buddies. Some buddies? Hey! You! Not in my bar! I know you. Nexus. Your people hurt my friends. Now, we're gonna hurt you. Looks like someone wants a fight. You up for it, Ryder? You know I am. You start this, I'm gonna finish it. Yeah? You and what army? <laughs> I don't need an army. I've got a Krogan. Just what do you think you're doing? Yeah! <laughs> 
Vaughn's hmm? <laughs> <laughs> almighty quads. I'm getting too old for this shit. Ah, hey, Ryder. Do me a favor. Don't tell Cash about this. I got you covered. That you do, I just... Don't want her to worry. Move your arm again? Readings won't change, Doc. Your prosthetics are sinking properly. Your neuropathy-induced pain levels are... consistent. Hey, I'm used to it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You keep fighting smart, you hear me? You don't have much left in terms of organ redundancies. Uh, <clears throat> nah, it's fine. I don't mind. What's all this about? Follow-up scans. I keep a close eye on him. What do you mean? He's fine, just old and missing too many parts. And too stubborn for his own good. You love me just the way I am, Doc. Hmm. Don't get off that table until the scan is done. Can I ask what happened? Arm, side, hip, part of my leg. Strain balancing threading across my spine. It's all prosthetics and implants. That's... a lot. Made it through the Krogan rebellions. Watched my culture disintegrate. Survived centuries as a merc and all sorts of pirate shenanigans. A thousand years of combat experience. All it took was one idiot with a pack of frag grenades. But you're here, still standing. You survived. Yeah, but surviving ain't always living. I hit some dark moments. Implant rejection after implant rejection. Prosthetics not sinking properly. Everything hurt. A lot. All the time. No purpose to anything. How did you deal with it? I didn't. I fell right into that pit. Almost. But then some shaman shows up, drops the tiniest little baby girl in my lap. This one's dying, he said. Not worth the trouble, he says. Useless is what he meant. That's awful. It's practical, Krogan. Gave me a purpose again. Wasn't just about me anymore, so I got help. Learned how to take care of myself, take care of her. And she took care of me. You found a way to live again. We sure did. Wasn't easy on either of us. I'm old, stuck in my ways, and Cash... Cash has wanted to change everything since she could talk. Raising Cash taught me an important lesson. What was it? Took me a while to figure it out, but it's important. Parents aren't meant to be a goal or a finish line. We're the starting line. Where you go from there, it's all you. Remember that. A straight shot at Meridian. You know the Archon won't make this easy, but neither will we. Let's see what he's got, and punch right through. Oh, I hope there's literal punching involved.
We have everything we need. I think we always did. Once we get to Meridian, we'll need to figure out what's next. So much might change. Some things won't change. Like you and me. You've almost got me believing. I can't forget that someone built the Scourge weapon and chose to use it. Those forces are at work here. But Meridian first. Everything else will fall as it may. For luck. When you're ready, I'm there. Uh-oh. Got a report of a very serious lighting malfunction in your quarters. In my quarters, huh? Yep. Guess you won't know unless you head down and see what happens. Sounds like this needs my full attention. <laughs> Malfunction, huh? I think I've been set up. You got me. I wanted an excuse to see you. I want to see you is reason enough for me. Everything we faced, and you're still such a sweetheart. And you're an incredible woman. A sweetheart and a sweet talker. A pathfinder. <laughs> I know when I found something good. Shh. I'm gonna show you how perfect you are. Even if it takes me all night. Though we're not exactly alone. Sam, can you turn off your logs for a while? My authorization? Yes, Lieutenant Hopper. <laughs> Actual alone time. Like it's just the two of us. Maybe one day it will be. You and me. A rover, a tent, adventuring across the stars. Living on our wits, keeping each other warm at night? Sign me up. This, us, it might not be easy. Andromeda challenges everything we know. But you're worth the fight. Pathfinder, Lieutenant Harper, the day shift is beginning. Duty calls. <sighs> Ryder, I was just about to call you. Everything all right? I've got numbers, coordinates, flashing in my head. I think it's an SOS from Mason. That's quite the leap. Just hear me out. What if Mason's using my SAM implant to send me his location? We did find evidence that Natanis may be intact. What evidence? A bunch of stasis pods were jettisoned from the Ark. No survivors. But the logs show it happened long after Natanis hit the Scourge. Someone's still flying the damn thing. 
Scourge or not, colonists were ejected from the Ark. There must be an explanation. Here are the coordinates for my implant. Meet me there. We'll find answers. That's... the Turian Ark. It's seen better days. Incoming call. <clears throat> Pathfinder, I think we're on the right track. No kidding. Is it safe to board? Only one way to find out. I'll meet you inside. Limited power. Life support's busted. Surprised there's any gravity at all. Looks like it barreled its way through the Scourge by force. HO-47C. It was supposed to be the Turian homeworld in Helios. Like Habitat 7. Whoever was piloting the Ark wanted to get here. No matter the cost. Even if that meant jettisoning entire sections of the Ark. It doesn't make sense. Come on. Speculating won't get us anywhere. We're lucky this part of the Ark survived. Looks can be deceiving, Pathfinder. The hull is barely holding together. Huh. Thanks, Sam. Always a ray of sunshine. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Locked. Needs power to open. Something's gotta still be online in this wreck. Hey, this door's still got power. I wouldn't open that Pathfinder. It leads to space. Perhaps you could divert the power to a different door. Power has been diverted, Pathfinder. This one's still got juice. Looks pretty busted. Think your Sam can get us in? Only one way to find out. I found a log from Dea Praton, the Ark's captain. The video is corrupt, but I can recover the audio. Play it. Something's tearing the Tannis apart. Half the cryo chamber is gone, trying to get anyone awake to the escape pods. Spirits, there's no time. Find Mason. Dea was abandoning ship. She wouldn't leave unless the situation was dire. Natanis didn't get here on its own. We need to know what happened next. The rest of the data on this console is corrupt. Perhaps if we find another. Or the Ark Sam node. Alright. Let's keep looking. This one also needs power. Maybe we can use the same trick as last time? Divert power from something else? The door should now be operational, Pathfinder.
Avidus, over here. There's still life in this one. Sam. Sam. How are we doing? Mason. Bring it back. The video's corrupted on this one, too. What about audio? Repairing now. One moment, please. We need to remain objective. Yeah, I've never been objective when it comes to Mason. Try. For his sake. Playing audio now. Sam. How far to Avi's pod? 300 meters. <laughs> An easy stroll, then. Damn it! Maybe not so easy. Where's the rest of it? That is all I could recover. Damn it. He was looking for your pod. Do you remember anything before waking up on Havarl? I told you. My first memory was clawing out of my stasis pod. Then we keep looking. That door leads to the SAM node. We've got to get in there. The SAM node should now be accessible. Sam, where's the Pathfinder? Where's Mason? Avi. 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 Commence. Stars. Avi. Isn't that what Mason called you? He's the only one who calls me that. My counterpart is suffering from severe trauma. If I partition the damage, it may be able to speak with us. Be careful. I don't want to lose this Sam because we rushed for answers. Avitas Riggs. Welcome home. Sam, Mason sent coordinates to this location. I need to find him. You are mistaken. I sent the coordinates. What do you mean you sent the coordinates? The Pathfinder ordered me to help Avatars find a home for the Turians. I located our destination, HO-47C, then sought out Avatars. Why would Mason do that? It was his last request. This thing's still busted. It doesn't know what it's talking about. We should have access to Mason's logs. Maybe there's something in there. <laughs> Abby, whatever we hit, a piece of it shredded my suit. It stings like hell, but spirits, it's beautiful. I need you to go on, for the both of us. Don't let that temper get the better of you. Sam, commence transfer. Yes, Pathfinder. Even the stars look brighter. He died before the transfer was complete. That must be the source of Sam's trauma. Why bring me here? What was the point? To complete the transfer, the Torians need a Pathfinder. <sighs> I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? I never thought I'd get the job. My whole career, I worked alone. I don't know how to lead people. I don't want to lead people. Avatus, I've seen you protect settlers. You found the Turian Ark. You've already been playing the part of Pathfinder. Just without the title. A title that belongs to Mason. Which he wanted you to have. Rejecting it won't bring him back. What if I let him down? You could only do that by walking away. Ah, damn it, you're right. Shall I begin transfer? It'll be safer on the Nexus. Suvi, call Tan. We need a shuttle to pick up the SAM node. Tell him we found the Turian Pathfinder. Can we talk when you're free? The Nexus science team is completely blown away by what you found in the Remnant City. It's a tremendous find, Ryder. The team asked me to pass on their thanks. Tell them they're welcome. I, as Pathfinder, was happy to serve. You know, the discovery of the Angaran origins have made me think hard about creation. If the Jardan were capable of creating life, then what does that say about God? You're wondering if he could be just a scientist? What if our creator is just like the Jardan, advanced but mortal, fallible? If you want to keep believing in a higher power who isn't just an advanced species, you'll find a way. You haven't had proof of a god before now. Why would this change that? 
Your faith will bridge the gaps. Ah. Uh -huh. You're saying I'll find some way to convince or delude myself? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, you're right. That's what faith is. And I'm okay with that. I want to believe in something bigger than I am. So I will. Strangely, that makes me feel better about the whole thing. Where's PB? Probably somewhere she shouldn't be. PB to the airlock, pronto. Pronto, huh? Sounds serious. Actually, could you come here, please? My place. Straight away? <sighs> Callo. Hey, any luck finding a place to land? Nothing yet. Might take a while. Okay, PB, be right there. You grab her hands, I'll grab her feet. PB? Back here. I won't bite. Uh... I'm not alone. Okay. I won't bite either of you. What's this about? Kala won't find a safe place to land the Tempest. You keep me on my toes, PB. You're both crazy. I'm not doing this for the fun of it. The Tempest can't go where we need to be, and you can't get there from the ground. This is the only way in. In? Where exactly are we going? PB, where are we going? It's not my fault the signal's coming from inside a volcano. And we should land on stable ground, assuming my subterranean scans are accurate. And the impact doesn't alter trajectory too severely. And, and tell me you have a plan for getting back to the Tempest. Is that a thing? We came all the way to another galaxy with no plan for getting back home. All right, brace for impact. So, uh, are you mad, Ryder? Mad is the smallest word for what I am. <laughs> you nearly got us killed. Any landing you can walk away from, right? Ryder, come in. Are you all right? Sam related the Tempest that we're stranded but alive. No choice but to investigate PB's signal. Sorry. Right away. Need to get through that obstruction. Maybe there's a console buried here somewhere. Pathfinder, there are extensive remnant systems, but sudden tectonic instability overwhelmed them. Much of the infrastructure is buried. Come on! Break through the rock and access the power node. Well, what do you know? The network you're accessing seems to be a production system. A production of what? Remnant hardware. Good. The gates are opening. You've opened more than that. I'm picking up structural chips throughout the cabin area. Interesting. That observer is in a persistent idle state. Its neural pathways are blank. It's like POC when I stripped out its remnant protocols. It has no programming. Seismic activity increasing. I'm picking up additional unprogrammed observers throughout the... Pathfinder. This site was a manufacturing center. That's a collapsed outlet point for an assembly line. Another gate. Have to get through. Look, up there above the gate. Another node. Try scanning it. That node controls the gate, but it's disabled. Too high to access. I bet an allied observer can enable it. Let's find a way to get one. A lot of... 
this tech is already broken down to its basic components. Very useful. That's back where we came from. Been there, done that. You are identifying yourself as an ally to the unprogrammed observers in the assembly line. Hey there, little guy. Nice to have you on the team. It should now repair the broken gate node. And voila! Thanks, buddy. Let's push on. Pathfinder, Camera reports finding no safe area to land. Retrieval may be impossible. Uh, oops. He has detected a few smaller. Uh-oh. I know that shuttle. Pelisaria, are you tracking that sweet signal too? Ugh, Kalinda. Back off. It's mine. <laughs> Let's hurry. We have to get to the signal source before Kalinda. Observers making rounds. Fully programmed and deployed bots will still react to you as an enemy. Another gate ahead. Console controls the gate. Here it goes. Good. The gate's starting to open. Thank you, Ryan. You opened a gate up here, too. Come on, boys. We're in. She must be on a ridge above us. Shit, shit, shit! Palisaria, the high road is much more direct. How the hell did you find us here, Kalinda? Guess you didn't notice the little transmitter I hid in Park. So sloppy. Ta! Ugh! That... Ryder, we need to pick up the pace. We have to make it across to the next ridge. Chasm's too far to jump. There may be Pathfinder. Interfacing with this console should allow you to extend the antenna so you can jump across. Whoa. Major activity. I can complete the hack, but you'll have to stay close. Incoming! Still working on it. Rebooting power from these other structures. Reducing our cover. Shit. We'll never catch Kalinda. Hunker down. More remnants. for unprogrammed observers in this area. Who cares? What matters is that mountain of rock is between us and the signal source. Need to get across there, but that huge boulder's in the way. Pathfinder, scanning the boulder will help determine the course of action. The rock is too dense for your weapons, but there is a deep fissure that an observer's beam might be able to exploit. I suggest you find the console that controls the dispenser. Right. Get a friendly bot to do it. Let's find the console. 
console for the dispenser. Now we're business. Activating patrol hostile re Anyone order a friendly observer? Sam was right. He comes with a ton of angry bots. At least a new friend is fighting for us. Outlaw, we keep running into. Looks like we'll run. <laughs> so long, losers. No, no, no. Melinda's barred the way. Come to your doom, Pathfinder. Reception committee. Sends her regards. Planet down. around here. The console here will summon an allied observer to repair the damaged gateway node. What's your magic, little guy? Yeah. All right, we're back in the game. This is it. Signal source is in the next chamber. I'm reading more dispensers for allied observers. I'll keep that in mind. Can't get a b nice place for an ambush. Funny, that's exactly what I thought. Belinda, <laughs> you ass! Just give it up! There's a piece of pure, uncut programming tech in here. Plus, you want it, so there's no way I'm giving up. Pathfinder, I highly recommend using the consoles to summon allied observers.
Hopefully, the observers will turn the tide. Shit! You defeated all my... My men. Really? Not really.
Phoebe, you put us through a pretty rough ride. Where are you at? I don't know. Can you explain what happened down there? I mean, Kalinda has been nothing but trouble, I grant you that. But why did you stop me from saving her? Choosing between an important piece of alien tech and a pain in the ass outlaw trying to kill us? Easy decision. Yeah, I can see that. And it's an incredible find. It's just... Desperate times bring out one's true colors, Ryder. I could have seen Kalinda's, even if it only confirmed the obvious. Will you be all right? I will. Eventually. Don't worry. In the meantime, I have this thing to occupy my thoughts, huh? I was right. It's raw, unused programming tech. With time, I can make it upload specs of our design into remnant hardware. A true fusion of both technologies. My first real mark in Andromeda, and I have you to thank. We do have a little bookkeeping matter to discuss. Ah, nuts. Yeah, the Tempest is light, one escape pod. That's gonna cost me, isn't it? Next time we dock at Nexus, you buy a new one. If you don't have the funds, you work it off over time. Got it? Hey, I'm the one out of bedroom. What do we do about that? Didn't you say you can sleep anywhere? Oh, you're no fun. Hey, PB. Hold that thought. Sit tight. Uh, I'll be right back. Hello. Don't worry. I'm not springing anything terrible on you. Actually, you be the judge. So, you and your team are like a fungus, you know? You look and smell funny and grow in the weirdest places. And somehow, you found root in my... Oh, it's so corny to say. In my heart. Ugh. I'm recording this so when I get antsy, and believe me, I will, just sit my ass down and play it. The shut up PB free card. Now, if there's anything you'd like to preserve for posterity, Say it at the beep. Oh, and then join me in the meeting room? Um... Beep... Welcome to the team, PB. Glad you've decided to stay. So, um, the reason I wanted to talk to you all... Uh-oh. Did you mutiny and jettison, Ryder? Uh, no such luck. He just showed up. She did ambush me. But I survived. No harm, no foul, huh? I just want to say, whether you all know it or not, I've had one foot out the door since I got here. And, well, that's gonna stop. I'm proud and happy to be part of this team. This... family. That... that's really it. Uh, okay? About time you caught up, kid. Yeah, you're one of us, whether you like it or not. Well, great. So, uh, my place is an utter mess. Who wants to help me clean it up? Think I left the stove on. I'm making ice. It's an ungarren holiday. Reports don't file themselves. Helping Liam make ice. But, but, 